Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I wanted to do this video since Valentine's Day is right around the corner. And I don't know if, if you guys would like to have like a special fragrance for Valentine's Day and you want to give your loved one, your significant other, an idea of what you would like to get. Or if you just want to get it for yourself. It doesn't have to be Valentine's Day. I mean, I buy perfumes whenever I want. You know, I mean, I don't buy them that often. Don't get me wrong. But I mean, if I want one, I don't wait for a special occasion. I just get it. But I know that for Valentine's Day, you know, perfumes are one of the common things that people do get. And I just closed my book as to where I have my notes because, um, yeah, that's the way I roll. I tell you. So let me find it really quick. Here we go. So anyway, I wanted to give you, I pulled six of my favorite fragrances. I do own quite a few of them. Um, most of them have been given to me by my husband and then also my daughter knows what I like and she has given me some for like my birthday or Mother's Day. Um, the girls in my office have also given me some fragrances for special occasion. So um, I just wanted to share this with you because these are the ones that if when I run out, I would definitely repurchase and would like to always have them in my collection. I have other ones that I like, but they're not a must have. I mean, if I run out and if I find them on a good sale or something, I will repurchase them, but these definitely I will want to keep in my collection. So I'm going to start with one of my faves, and this is one scent that whenever I wear it, I always, always, always get a lot of compliments. This lasts all day. You just put a little bit on in the morning or whenever it is that you get dressed and you don't need to worry about, you know, wearing off. Now, I'm the type of person that when I'm wearing a scent after a little while, I don't smell it on myself anymore, but I, other people do. So, I mean, I don't know whether that's good or bad. Sometimes if you can smell something all day, kind of, you know, you kind of get tired of it. So I don't mind the fact that I can smell it as long as I smell like it and it smells good and other people like it so the first one that i'm going to show you is the chanel coco mademoiselle this has been a favorite of mine since this was released so it was several years ago i love it this is probably like my third or fourth bottle that i have gone through this is very pricey and like other perfumes that usually on holidays like mother's day valentine's day christmas you can get a good deal on getting like a set. This one pretty much no. They do sell sets, but you pay the full price for each individual item that comes in it. Now, I'm not one that likes to layer my perfume with my um, with body lotion. I can do without the body lotion. I usually just use an unscented body lotion like CeraVe on my body. And then I just wear the perfume. So I don't have to have the shower gel and the you know the body you know lotion I'm good with just the perfume this is amazing this is so beautiful and it's funny because my niece she you know they're used to smelling it on me because I use it a lot when we get together on special occasions or something and she ended up buying some for herself this is this is such a sexy feminine scent that if I had to get rid of all my perfumes I would only keep two this will be one of them and I'll show you in a minute what the second one will be but I absolutely love this is this is like a must this is beautiful okay the notes on this one is a warm floral and it has orange patchouli Turkish rose and vetiver vetiver Okay, I do to me, I don't know, it doesn't really smell that floral because I don't like floral perfumes. I don't like stuff that I got, I'm going to smell like a garden. That I don't like. I don't like, um, it has Turkish rose, but it does not smell at all like rose. I usually go for colognes that smell more like amber or vanilla or something like that. And this must have, and some of the other notes in it, it has to have some of that because I love this and it does if you guys don't like rose this does not I guarantee it I don't like a perfume that smells like rose 
and this does not have rose at all. That is definitely not what I'm what I'm getting from here. I love this. This is my number one. Okay, my number two. That if I ever have to, you know, get rid of everything else, and I can only keep two, it's a Lancome La Vie Is Belle. Also, I've had this since Lancome released it. This is a large bottle. And my best friend gave me another large bottle for, I think it's even larger than this one, for Christmas. So I'm set when I'm not out of this one. But as you can see, it's pretty full. I'm set. I don't have to buy another one. This is another one that smells, oh my gosh, guys. This is amazing. I mean, I've had even waiters at restaurants have told me, ma'am, you smell so good. What are you wearing? It is amazing. If you like the Coco de Mademoiselle, you're going to like this one. This one, the notes are, it's a powdery floral, which is kind of does smell powdery. And it has patchouli, sandback, gourmand, Tunisian orange, praline, iris, and vanilla bean. So this one does have the vanilla bean and the praline is kind of sweet, but I don't like super sweet colognes. I like warm colognes and this is it this is beautiful I'm gonna smell really good this is beautiful it really really is this is another one that's pricey probably not as pricey as the Coco Mademoiselle and this one you can get some really good deals during the holidays special occasion you know days like Valentine's Mother's Day Christmas when you can get like you know the lotion or a purse spray and because I do have a purse spray that came with this one, I believe, and you can get a good deal. You can, you know, pay a little less, but this is a must in my collection. I will never, ever, ever be without this one. I really do love it. It is just sexy and sensual and warm and feminine. And I mean, you smell it all day. But it's not obnoxious. It's not like something that if you go into a room, people can smell it, but it's, they get sick of it. This is, stays like a soft scent that it just lingers through the whole day. It's just, it's just beautiful. I mean, even like if I spray it on when, let's say I'm wearing a sweater or something and I forgot to put it on and I spray it after I have my sweater on, you know, and I hang up my sweater. The next time I go put on my sweater, I can smell it on my sweater. I mean, it's, long lasting you really get your money's worth and i always buy the perfume i never buy the you know the toilet or whatever you want to call it because those are not as strong you do pay a little more for the perfume but guys this will last you so much more because you don't have to use as long it will last all day while the other one really doesn't last that long um at least on me it doesn't last that long so you're better off spending a little more and making sure that, you know, it's going to smell amazing all day. So those two are my must. The ones that I recommend 200%. They're amazing. It, you know, if you're not sure if you're going to like it, go by the perfume counter and ask them to give you a sample and you can try it on. Because I know some people are allergic and I mean, things don't smell the same on everybody. But these two are beautiful. Another one that I really like is the Oscar de la Renta, Bella Blanca. And to me, this is more, it's a little softer. It's probably more what people would call a daytime perfume. I don't really go by that. If I'm going to go someplace and I'm going to be out all day and I want my cologne to last all day, my, my perfume to last all day, I can spray the Coco Mademoiselle. I don't have to wait till it's like 6 p.m. to put it on. So I'll wear whatever I want. I, I don't go by a.m., p.m., winter, summer, no. But this one probably what people would say is more like a daytime perfume. This is um, a little softer. I'm not going to put it on me because it's a little um, lighter, uh, more of a fresh scent. And the Bella Blanca is, uh, has wet freesia. It says it's a dewy floral. It has uh, wet freesia jasmine and sandalwood and i love colognes or perfumes that have sandalwood again it's in this to me it's kind of like if you like vanilla amber um you know uh, caramel sandalwood they all have that warmth that is what attracts me to a scent so this one is 
delicious. It is again not as pricey as the um, as the Chanel. Chanel's probably the priciest one that I have. But this one again, you put it on, you don't need a lot. It will last you all day. It's beautiful, a beautiful cologne. It's a beautiful bottle. This is gorgeous. And I really, really do enjoy this. Okay, the next one that I am going to talk about is the Ralph Lauren R Romance. And I don't have a lot left on this one. And this one's probably the one that I wear the most to work. And not because of anything except that it's not as expensive. I don't want to go through my more expensive scents. And, um, and I like it. I like it a lot but I like the other ones more. So I like to save, even though I really need to go through my Lancome now because I have another full bottle. But you know, it's like you have a perfume that you don't mind so much if you run out and the other one you kind of want to just save it for special occasions. So this one is a classic floral. It has jasmine patchouli, woody musk, and mandarin orange. And again, what I love about it is that musk. I love anything that has that um, and it's funny because I didn't realize that I went for the same kind of notes until I actually sat down to look at the notes of each of the perfumes that I really love and I noticed that they all have the same vanilla musk uh, amber so it's funny how you don't even realize that you have a pattern so this one again is beautiful. Now I did not put prices on any of these. I will link them below where I can, you know, where you can purchase them or find them and you'll see the prices, but I did not look up the prices. Um, all of these are pricey. None of these are drugstore. So, you know, you're not going to be able to find them like at, you know, Walmart or something like that, but you can at Macy's and you can at Sephora. Uh, Ulta has some of these so if you have Ulta points you can use them for some of these and this is how I bought the one this one here and this I bought it no actually I got this in Sephora and I had a gift card and this is my Burberry and this is the blush the Burberry blush and this is a small bottle look how cute the bottle is though so cute and I had never tried a Burberry uh, cologne before. And I bought this last year. And it's, this is very nice and soft. Um, the notes on this one, it, it says it's a fruity floral. And it's very feminine. And it has pomegranate, rose, jasmine, wisteria. Those are the main notes. Now it does... I guess it does classify as a uh, fruity floral, but it's not, I don't like really fruity scents or very floral scents. So whatever else it has in here, it kind of tones it down. And to me, this is a very soft, it is very feminine. It is very soothing when you have it on. You just feel pretty and I don't know it makes you feel good and I think that's part of having a scent that you like that it makes you feel it's like the icing on the cake you know you get dressed you put on your makeup you do your hair you're feeling good and then this is the icing that you finish your entire look with that is just gonna make you feel good for the rest of the day you know you smell amazing you feel good about the way that, you know, you look today. And this just, you know, puts a stamp on it. And all of these clones do that. All of these fragrances do this for me. It just gives me that finished touch to my getting ready. This is a beautiful scent. I really, really do enjoy it. Again, I think that it's soft. It's not overpowering. It's not something that if you walk into a room, they're going to smell you from the end of the room. But if someone gets close to you, they're going to get a whiff of that scent. And it's a pleasant scent. And like I say, all of these scents I have received many compliments on. The most I have received is from the Mademoiselle and from the La Vie Belle from Lancôme. Those are the two that it never fails. Strangers will come up to me and say, what are you wearing? That smells amazing. 
So this is really, really nice. I do recommend it. The last one that I'm going to recommend for you, this is the one that is the newest one to my collection, and I, I added it around November because I got it on the um, on the Black Friday. And Huda was having a great sale on her website, and like everything I think on her website was like 50% off, including her perfumes. I have been wanting to try this because I had a sample of it, and I really loved it. This is a KLE Vanilla. And I really, really loved it right up my alley with a vanilla scent. And when I saw she was having 50% off on one of her website, and this was actually 50% off. The regular price, I believe it's like $116, and I got it for $58. So this I love. Um, the notes on this one is vanilla, and it's warm and spicy. Um, it has orchis, tonka, absolute and amber woods so it has all of the notes that i love the vanilla the tonka because it's anything that has tonka and i really don't know what tonka is but i know that i like it and then it has the amber woods which i love this is a beautiful cologne this smells warm like vanilla it's just i mean you don't smell like a cake or a cookie when you put it on but it just smells warm and soothing and you know like you just want to snuggle up in a blanket smelling like this all day i mean this is just beautiful it really is a beautiful scent and a bottle like this even at 118 dollars it's not bad um i noticed she has a new one now which she's tempting me with it but i'm gonna wait till she has a sale but this is amazing i can't recommend this one enough if you guys ever see it on sale and you like those kind of notes give it a try uh, go by Sephora and see if they can give you a sample of the uh, KLE. It's really, really beautiful. I can't say enough about it. I really, really do enjoy this scent. And like I said, this is pretty new. And I only got it in November. I mean, I'm, I've used it a few times, but you really don't need much. So that's why there's not a lot missing. And I do have a pretty big collection of, of perfumes. So I don't use the same one on a daily basis. But this is beautiful all of the ones that i showed you guys are my favorites these are ones that when i burn out i would definitely you know repurchase um i would hate to you know not be able to replace it if i when i do run out but especially i would say these three definitely the coco mademoiselle which i have replaced several times the La Vie is Belle, I replaced several times. And this is the first time that I try the KLE, but I would definitely replace it when I run out. This is gorgeous, if you like those kind of scents. I know different people like different things, but I like more of a warm, um, vanilla, amber, musk kind of scent. And that's what all of these have. So I hope that you guys have enjoyed this video. I hope that I gave you some ideas if you're looking for some special cologne and if you have you just your um taste in in perfumes are similar to mine um if you have any questions let me know i'll be more than happy to answer them for you all of these are long lasting um not obnoxious not you know smell you from across the room but definitely will stay on your skin for the entire day and like i say i do not layer them i do not use like the body wash and the I don't spend my money on that. I'd rather just get the larger bottle of the perfume that I like. I don't need the other ones. I just use, I use unscented deodorant, unscented, um, you know, body lotion. So nothing interferes with my perfume. And because that's all I want to smell. I don't want to create my own concoction by having, you know, scented body creams. That's why I don't get any body creams from like Bath and Body Works because I wear perfume all the time, so I don't want that perfume interfering with it. So anyway, I hope this was helpful. I hope they give you some ideas. And I love you, and I will see you on my next video. Bye, guys. Mwah.